How's it going shoppers? I had to re-record this intro because I lost the footage, but yesterday we did some Walmart Spark, some Instacart, and uh, we found out that some other shoppers were getting deactivated at that Walmart for suspicious activity. So I'll let you guys know about that in just a little. For now, let's get back into yesterday's video. All right, so we're starting off with this $37 Instacart order. As you guys could see, it was a pretty small order, but a bunch of kind of weird items that just so happened to be out of stock. So a lot of replacements happened here, but overall a pretty nice little order for a new customer I've never had. So no idea how I got this being away from the store, but right here, you're gonna see me doing something pretty important. I'm uh, rebagging things because the bagger decided to put like chemicals and stuff with food products. So not doing that because I'd like to actually keep my tip. So we're just gonna rebag everything here and it's something I would always look out for. Alrighty guys, so that order took us about 26 minutes to shop for 12 items. Not my proudest shop, but I'm very sleepy right now. Basically a bunch of stuff was out of stock. So that's why I was so slow. I will say I'm kind of glad to be back out here making some extra money because uh, my car is making a funny noise and I have a feeling I'm about to delete some money in my bank account. Anyways, eight minute drive. Really happy with this customer as well. She seems super nice. So I'll see you guys at the drop off and then hopefully we'll start working our way over back to Walmart because I want to get some shop and deliver orders in. All right, guys, just curious, what movie do you think of when you see that little cart? There's only one right answer. And if you're about my age, you definitely know. Alrighty guys, so we just stopped for a little. We got some Taco Bell and we just got our next shopping order. It is $19, four miles, and I think it was like 17 items, something like that. So we're gonna go do that real fast. It looks pretty simple. And this will put us right around 56. Alrighty guys, we just finished that shop. It went pretty good. We got some drama though. Apparently some shoppers are getting busted for using multiple phones and accounts that don't belong to their name. They've now stopped at least two to three people just recently that have been using multiple phones. Specifically, there is this person that I was seeing that was always with like a friend. They had like a bunch of phones and finally they noticed that the names weren't always the same on his phone. But yeah, watch out for that. If you guys have suspicions, you guys can tell employees, especially the self checkout employee, and they could confirm the name before they let them walk out of the store with the order. So that's what they've been doing lately. So that's really good for us because we're gonna get more orders. They've been sucking up a bunch of orders. So. So sucks for them, but uh, I guess they shouldn't be cheating, stealing money from us, from the people that are doing it legitimately. Anyways, we're about five minutes off from the drop off. And then after that, I have a story for you guys. It's gonna be quick little story time. And here's where I almost got brutally attacked by three little dogs. Alrighty guys, as promised, little story time for you. So my wife and I have been moving a lot for the past few years, which means that we're always starting a new internet plan and then ending it, starting a new one, and the cycle continues. But for whatever reason, last time we signed up for internet, something happened. And it, let's just say it worked out in my favor. So basically I called Spectrum. I was setting up my new account and uh, I was getting a pretty good discount. I, as you guys will see, I got a really good discount. Yeah, it was like 50 bucks. It should have been 50 bucks a month 
for internet. We moved in there last fall, so we just crossed the year mark. Anyways, when I was calling Spectrum, the guy was super cool. Kinda have this odd feeling that maybe it was his last day at work and he just wanted to be nice to me. This will uh, come into play later in the story. Anyways, I've been searching for the bills on my bank account and uh, I've been having a hard time finding it. So I was like, eh, whatever. As long as I have internet, it should be fine. I've just been so busy. So anyways, we started finally cracking down on this because we were worried that they may have been charging my parents instead of myself because my dad has the same exact name. So I was kind of worried that maybe something like that happened and maybe they're billing the wrong person. Anyways, a Spectrum guy knocks on our door and they're just like, yeah, like we're running this deal right now. Sign up now, you'll get like this great offer. Anyways, I was like, dude, we already have Spectrum. And he searched everywhere. He's like, I don't see you on the account. I was like, I swear, like I have Spectrum. Pretty sure he thought I was lying to him to get him to go away. But basically Spectrum has not been charging us at all for internet for over the past year. And we finally called because we wanted to make sure they weren't billing someone incorrectly. And yeah, it turns out they just straight up weren't charging us for a year of free internet. In my head, I was just like, maybe we should have just never called, but I think we did the right thing. We were kind of just unsure what was happening, but after my wife called them, apparently they had to have like a manager in the finance team come like help figure it out to see what happened. But yeah, that's how we got basically like $600 worth of free internet. Kind of thinking the guy that helped me out originally was just being really cool. Or maybe he had no idea what he was doing. That's about it for the story though. I was just pretty happy when I heard about this today. I just thought I'd share it with you guys. Anyways, we're almost back at Walmart. I'll let you guys know whenever we get our next order. Alrighty guys, we just got our last order for the day. It is a $33 order. Let me see if I could show you. That is what it looks like. So it's also going right next to my house. So these are always super convenient, 20 items, miles I need to drive anyway. So I'm definitely starting to get more and more tired. So I'm happy to get home. We're not gonna be exactly making like huge money today, but uh, we're at least back out here working. I've definitely taken a lot of time off lately. So just trying to get back in the groove of things. Anyways, I'll see you guys with a cart full of stuff. All right, guys, so we're about to drop off. Third floor apartment, but it should only be one trip, so I'm not too worried about that. And the customer was very nice, and they sent me a message saying that uh, if the gate's closed, that they'll buzz me in. So that's pretty cool. And luckily for us, the gate's just opened. Sweet. All right, time to find this apartment. <sighs> Curious if you guys could hear me. Forgot I'm wearing a mic. All you guys could probably hear is a bunch of huffing and puffing while I was going up and down those stairs. Also, I know in the past, a lot of you guys were asking what type of phone mount I'm using. My old one broke, so I just got a new one and I really like it. It comes with this little metal plate and you guys could put it in your phone case, but my phone case is just extra thick. So it doesn't really work unless if I stick it on the outside. I'll have a link down below and it is an affiliate link. So if you guys purchase this, it'll cost the same amount. I'll just get a little commission from it. So basically the way it works is you guys pull this out. It hooks on the back of the vent and then you guys just twist it until it's tight. You guys can even adjust the tightness here so that you guys could move this. But overall, seems very secure and it's probably my favorite phone mount I've ever used. It's a huge game changer when you guys are coming from one of these things. These are kind of super annoying compared to just a little magnet. Anyways, uh, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know it was kind of just a very simple video, but thank you guys so much for supporting. Drop a like down below, consider subscribing for more content like this, and I'll see you guys on the next one.